we have done our personal research we found that you will start to cut down dependency on food by quantity between 50% to 90%. Why I say 90%? Because like Arabian Peninsula people, they eat a lot. I have realized, you know, they like to eat a lot. Here people are so cautious about what they eat. So that there I found that it's up to 90% of the volume, they, the food they take. Here we can say maybe 50%. And we'll explain why that you will substitute your food intake and you don't have to be worried with the food that you take because you cannot avoid. You're invited in a party, you go in a hotel, you travel, you cannot control the food that you take. It's becoming irrevocable. Today, the food we eat, this food is coming from the farm till the time it reaches the consumer. It has taken so long time that but scientists, they were able to prevent farming. That population of the world has exponentially exploded from 700 million 300 years back to 7 billion or now 7.4 billion so it could end up human could eat human so we have to be thankful to scientists about the food preservative and all these things but we pay the price of these chemicals but now the hot water is now come to help about now we live our life we enjoy the food we take but we cut down the food we take we rarely eat lunch or dinner or uh, breakfast, but we cut down. We, we listen to our body's language, to our body's demand, desire. When you crave for food, that's the time you eat. As you see with the hot water, the temperature is higher than the body temperature. So as you, as what the, the low thermodynamic about adding a heat to a system, it either do one of these or both. It changed the system, internal energy, or it caused the system to work or to do both. This is very important about when we talk about cutting down the food intake. Now, if you realize here, we know that the food that we eat, enzyme break down these foods, they break down the proteins that contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and uh, nitrogen. Break down the proteins to amino acids, the fat to fatty acids, carbohydrate to glucose. Glucose and fatty acids they used to produce uh, I mean, it breaks them down again to produce energy for the, uh, for the body. The amino, uh, the amino acids broken down to, produ I mean, for the, to build up the muscles, cells and tissue. And also it's depending on the energy. So what happened, but the problem here is the toxic substances that resulted from the waste disposal. And, I mean, from the food metabolism. That result to methane, hydrogen sulfate and carbon dioxide. I've, what I realized that most of the disease, most of these radical cells happening, free radicals, because of this, the toxic substance. So what happened when you start to cut down the food intake and you substitute with the hot water, you realize that the hot water, pro, uh, you have the clean energy to your body that's the non-toxic, you don't have any toxic substance because simply water is made up, I mean, composed of hydrogen and oxygen, so it's non-toxic.